talks in Tanzania's Morocco. Morocco. Welcome back to details. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi instructed on Tuesday to immediately establish plasma derivative centers in Egypt. The president also gave his directives to initiate a vital and precise mechanism which guarantees best performance with the Spanish company for gathering and manufacturing plasma derivatives, Griffolds, stressing that the project has a priority at state's level. This came during the president's meeting with the head of the Spanish company in the attendance of Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli, Health and Population Minister Dr. Hela Zaid, and Presidential Advisor for Health Affairs Dr. Mohammed Awad Tegedim. Presidential Advisor Ambassador Bassem al Rodi said the meeting reviewed the general implementation plan of the national project for collecting and manufacturing plasma derivatives in Egypt in partnership with Spanish company Griffoles. For their part, the company officials expressed their honor for meeting President Sisi and their happiness in cooperating with Egypt in the field of technology. Egyptians flocking to polling stations on the second day of voting in the runoff of the first phase of parliamentary elections on Tuesday with 220 candidates competing for 110 seats in the judicial system. Voters cast their ballots in the governorates of Giza, the New Valley, Fayoum, Bani Suif, Minya, Asyut, Bahira, Suhaq, Qina, Luxor, Aswan, Alexandria and Matruh over two days. 32 candidates won in the first round of the first phase of the elections which are being carried under a full judiciary supervision and amid precautionary measures to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. The final results of the parliamentary elections are to be formally announced by the National Elections Authority on December 14th. Hawa or Eve magazine has organized its meeting, uh, monthly meeting rather, headed by its editor-in-chief Samar El Dusui. The meeting dubbed Great Women Under the Dome of Parliament celebrated elected women members of the 2020 Parliament. The details. Great Women Under the Dome of Parliament, Hawa or Eve magazine holds its monthly meeting. Let's have a look. Hawa or Eve magazine's monthly salon celebrates parliamentary winners of the elections. The monthly salon of Hawa magazine, headed by journalist Samar al Dissoui and in the presence of the engineer Ahmad Omar, the chairman of Dar al Hilal Foundation, with a number of female MPs in the first and second round of parliamentary elections. Among of them are the MP Maisa Atwa, the MP Farida Shubeshi, and the MP Dr. Sapura Sayed. <laughs> The woman is not less than the man, the woman is equal to the man. Allah distinguished the woman for being a mom, and she is a daughter, a sister, a wife, and she is the one who raised the generation who protested in June 30 and protected the nation from rapture and corruption. The Egyptian woman is genius and sacrificing, and she raises her children on the love of Egypt, and Egypt is flourishing under the leadership of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. Today we are invited by Hawa Magazine's editor-in-chief, Samar al Dissoui, with a number of great and prominent women, members of the 2020 parliament. We are here to discuss our future plan for women in particular and for Egypt in general. The number of public figures concerned with political empowerment of women, including the writer Magdi Sober and members of Women and Men Accept Every Challenge Block, and Dr. Rami Adil, an expert in medical affairs, the ambassador Sane Sdayid, and other media and public figures. We usually organize a monthly salon at Hawa magazine. We discuss all the Egyptian women issues and interests, also her role to support the nation since 2013 in all fields such as participation, presidential elections, parliamentary elections, constitutional amendments. So today we honor and celebrate our female parliament members and we try to discuss what will they provide under the dome of parliament and how they support the Egyptian citizen. The Salon addressed the members of parliament role in the next stage in the framework of the support of our homeland in all the fields. Minna Dissou Inal, TV International. 
and a car bomb killed five people.